All right, so what is up everybody you on YouTube? This is Bullet RC and I'm coming at you with yet another What's in my bag? All right, so first up I have this H&M sweater um, basically a light fur French terry cotton and it's actually a tan color. It's really hard to see It's actually a washed out kind of khaki in my opinion. So that's my first Thing for tops, a sweater from H&M, cost me like 30 bucks. Um, next up, I have this Supreme long sleeve top. It's all white, of course, large on the bottom. But I've had this one for actually a while, and it actually has Supreme on the back. So that's my second thing I brought for tops. Um, I also brought this Knit the Jeps. Um, I think it was a it was a collaboration or something like that. It was a Knit the Jeps um, rock tortilla, a very Thin tea, you guys have seen this on my uh, haul or pickup videos before, but this is another tea I brought just to kind of layer up. And what I did layer with that was these black sample industries hoodie. Um, as you guys can see, the all black sample industries hoodie. I gotta get a lint roll and get some of the lint off of it. You guys know all black reverse French terry. So this was one of the things I also brought. Um, then these are just kind of like some extra teas I just brought. Um, well, at least this one was to wear underneath of something. This is just a Sir. It was a suicidal tendencies tee. You guys can see on the back as well, Sir on the bottom. And then, of course, I had to fit a huff tee in there somewhere. I had this old red tie dye huff tee that actually I rocked this one as well. This looked like more of a sleep shirt for me. Um, and then I had this shirt for sure. Um, shout out to my dudes over at Cousins Brand once again. This shirt is extremely comfortable, um, so I was wearing this one as well, just around. Hey. And as far as tops go, you got the Cousins brand, throw that in the bag, Huff, throw that in the bag, Sir, bag it, Sample Industries hoodie, bag that joint, Knit the Jeps, let's bag it, Supreme, Supreme, bag it, and then H&M, bag it, and let's get to the next items. All right, so next up we have these Zane Robe Low Blow Jeans. Now these ones run you about, they're gonna run you usually over 100, but if I can find a link to uh, get you to these for a little bit cheaper, I will. Um, once again, my only gripe with Zane Robe is that they threw the drop crotch on it. Once again, it's not as bad on these pants, uh, but you guys know how I feel about drop crotch. Like, guys, make the, the, these pants with the same fit at the bottom as you do the joggers, kind of. Um, of course not with the jogger bottom, but just taper it and like bring it up, please. Just please make a pants like that. Some decent denim like that. And then Zane, <laughs> and then we have Zane Rover, of course, on the back. Um, but all, all in all, these are also another pair of my favorite jeans that are really like all whited out. I mean, you got some blues in here and there, but it's really a stonewashed denim. Um, and then last up, I always bring these as well because this is just another excellent denim brand. I got some Subi denim. Um, these actually come from Curated ATL, and if, they, if my code is still working, which I'm pretty sure it is, I'll leave it down below. Um, I think you can say 15% on Subi, and hopefully, um, I should have something else for y'all if y'all want to save some, some money on Subi. But this Subi denim is always good. Um, I got a 36 in mine, and they, I mean, they, they said they were skinny fit, uh, but to me, they run pretty slim, so the 36 would work for me fine. But those are all my jean choices, and as far as bottoms go, I mean, unless y'all want to see this, it's just some. Walmart basketball shorts, and then I had another pair of uh, Zane Rope Gabe shorts. So we're gonna bag those Zane Rope shorts, we're gonna bag the Walmart shorts, bag the Subies, bag Zane Rope, and then bag the 10 Deep, and head into our next items. Also, so for a few more outerwear pieces, I have another sample Industries. This is the Reverse French Terry. Now, this is the burgundy color. Um, I paired that with the H&M sweaters you guys seen before, these Ronnie Fag and Pumas, and of course the Sample Industries All Satin Bomber. Uh, that's why I paired up to wear to uh, Sneaker Con yesterday. So if you see me, you see me in all Sample Industries decked out. Um, next up, I wore this on the first night. If you guys are watching me on Snapchat, you would have seen it. The 10 Deep Bonsai Work Shirt. Uh, and you guys have probably seen this in my last, I think the last Carmelo Pickups video. Um, the, this was actually in it and I paired this jacket with this shirt and the black sample hoodie underneath this shirt. It was a good fit. And then as well as I have one more hoodie that I have to show you guys. 
Yes, this trip was only for three days, and yes, I kind of slick overpacked, but I like having options, so options. That's what you need. Next up, I had this Supreme and Champion hoodie. Now, I've had this for actually a good while now. Um, this is what I'm going to be wearing on my way out of uh, Chicago, so, you know, definitely a really nice piece. One of my, one of my favorite Supreme hoodies so far, um, and that's why I haven't sold it. Like, it's a medium, and it's kind of tight with me down here. But I'm not selling it, so just don't ask. So anyways, let's bag the Supreme, bag the 10 deep, bag the sample, bag some more sample. Well, next up, let's get into the hats, shoes, and uh, you know, some other accessories. All right, y'all, so getting into the kicks, I'm gonna go from order in which I wore them this weekend. So first off, we have the Air Force One Mid Flax. Now, I actually put these together with the 10 Deep Bonsai shirt, the Knitted Jeps Rock Tour Inspired T shirt, and the all black 10 Deep denim. So, that was a fit I wore on Friday. I also threw on my Huff Worldwide hat. Um, and if you guys are following me on Snapchat, that is bull.cb, you guys would have seen me in that fit on Friday, um, hanging out with everybody. So, that was Friday. Next up for Saturday, which was the day of SneakerCon Chicago, I went with the Ronnie Feig and Puma Sakuda. These right here, I wore with the Zane Robe Low Blow Denim. Um, I also wore, um, in addition to the denim, as you guys have seen, I had my sample bomber. I wore my sample bomber, and then I also wore my sample hoodie just to layer up with that. Um, you guys are probably gonna see some pics on my Instagram as well. Um, shout out to T Blake and Ivan for you know taking a few candid photos of us while we were walking around. But this was my kick for SneakerCon Chicago. Last up, we're gonna go with the Air Jordan 1 Bread, and these are just gonna be my uh, my my departure kicks. I'm gonna be wearing these with uh, some Adidas sweatpants because I don't care. I will mix brands. Um, my Supreme hoodie, and probably like a, one of my black T-shirts, or maybe my cousin's brand T-shirt, or, or probably just throw my Huff red T-shirt and, and, and throw these bad boys on. But those are the kicks that I wore on this trip. Now let's go ahead and finish it off with the accessories. All right, y'all. So to finish this video off, let's go ahead and get into the hats really fast and what I brought as accessories. So of course, this time I just realized I brought three Huff hats. You guys have seen these, so I'm not gonna really get into them. I have my worldwide corduroy Huff hat. I have my Metal H strap bag, which I think is back available somewhere, so if I can find that, we'll link it down below. And I also have the all red suede huff joint. I don't think this one is available anymore. Um, people always ask me about these, so I think this one might be available somewhere, but this one is, they're, they're dead, they're gone. So, once again, brought my three huff hats. Huff hats are my favorite. Huff, hit me up, okay? Just hit me up, I'll help you out. And also, let's go ahead and get into some of the smaller accessories too. All right, so first up, as you guys can see, I have my young Movado. Um, thanks to the Bay for this watch, but this has been the watch I've been wearing uh, recently. You guys have been seeing this is the Movado Bold Watch. If you guys want to cop this? I'll leave a link. But this is kind of a big boy watch, so the price is a little bit more. Uh, it's a little bit more than my usual Nixon Unit SS. So this is the watch I brought, the Movado Bold. Next up. People ask me about this bracelet all the time. It's just a Shambhala bracelet I got from Pearson Pagoda. So, I mean, it's old too, so you guys can see some of the little crystals and stuff are, are, are falling off of it. Uh, not like they're real or anything, but you guys can see that. Um, next up, we have my all leather hook bracelet. Now, I got this from Jack Threads. The brand is kind of called Of All Threads. You can kind of see it right there on the hook of all threads. Um, and then it's an all basically black leather. Um, it's probably one of my favorite bracelets I have. A lot of people ask me about this bracelet. So that is the black hook bracelet with leather from Of All Threads. Then I had two bracelets I got recently off of Karma Loop. These are just from Goodwood. Some wooded, black wood beads and you guys can see just some extra little detailing on with the Goodwood on the back. So this is also another one. And last up, my little sister actually got this for me. Um, I just recently started wearing this. It's actually from Africa. Um, she bought from a marketplace and there's just some beads from Africa. So this these are all my accessories for this weekend. All right guys, so that is the end of that packing video. I had to switch up cameras real quick because we need to actually check out the hotel. You guys have seen the shoes. You guys have seen the bag. You guys have seen the accessories. And if you want to know how I actually got those angles without a tripod, I just used the ironing board. Ironing board shot over there. And for the, the over top shots, I had to put this chair on top of this desk and shoot straight down. So it took a little bit of innovating, but 
none of that matters. Anyways, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snubs, here, there, Blase, blah, at Bullet RC. And I'm gonna see you guys next video. Uh, I'm gonna just end this one off with the view of Chicago. Y'all be easy. Peace.